Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige, and today I want to have a little discussion. So this topic is something that came up when I was talking with my friend Kayla over at Books and Lala. We're doing a readathon together, and one of the challenges is to read a book where the main character is a person of color. And she was having a really hard time finding that book, and she expressed to me that, you know, really there's so few of her books in her library feature a person of color. She started saying how she felt bad about this, about how, you know, she should be trying to seek out books that feature diversity more often, and I stopped her because I said, you shouldn't have to seek out books where the main character is black, or the main character is Asian. You shouldn't have to put in all this effort to try to find something. It should be there. It should just be there. And if you're in the YA section, it should be there in the YA section. So I am mixed race. I am black and I'm white. And as a mixed person who loves to read, I get kind of irritated when, if I want to find a book that features a black character, why do I have to go to the African American section? Why do I have to go to a whole other section when that book could just be put in, if it's fiction, why can't it just be put in with the rest of my YA books that are in that section of the bookstore? Why do I have to go over there in this little, little section labor, labeled African American literature? Not all bookstores are like that, but I have seen a couple where like a fiction book, just a, a fiction book, it was um, Push. The book Push, I'll put a picture of it right here. It was in the African American literature section and I'm like, no, that can just go with the rest of the literature. It's, it's fiction, what are you doing? That just grinds my gears, that makes me so angry. Anywho, moving on. So, that conversation with Lala is really what started me thinking about this topic. I reached out to Richard over at Books and Bullshit Oh, I said a bad word. It's in his name. But he's also doing a collab video with me on this. And today I'm going to be talking about YA books that have a lack of diversity. And over at his channel, he's going to be talking about middle grade and the lack of diversity in a middle grade fiction. So after this video, go on and click on his link and see what he has to say about middle grade because he's freaking hilarious. And, and just watch him. He's funny. Anywho, let's move on. I set out to do this video, I was like, let's, let's find some statistics. Let's find some, you know, some facts to back up what I'm saying. So here's a little stat for you. In 2013, of the 123 best-selling YA fiction novels that were written, 88% of those novels featured a white main character. 88%. So that means 12% of those books were written about a black main character or a Chinese main character or an Indian main character, a person of color. In a world where we are really becoming a melting pot and, and we are so diverse and there are, I just, that, that just doesn't make sense to me and it doesn't feel right. Like I just, why? Why is it so hard to write a book where the main character isn't white? Why is that hard? Even as an African-American woman who collects books and loves books and loves reading a lot of my books. The majority of my books on my bookshelf feature white main characters. That's because if I want to find a book that features a black main character, I have to go out and search for that book. I can't just do what I normally do, whereas go to the thrift stores, find what I can there, half price books, find what I can there. I have to actually set out to buy that exact book. And that just, I don't know, I just wish that we lived in a world where there was more diversity in the books that we're reading. That when I go to the thrift store to get a used book, I have a whole bunch of different cultures that I can read about and learn about and through YA fiction, through fiction, YA included. But alas, that's not the case. So another problem that I have with the lack of diversity in books, YA books especially, is when we do have a person of color in the book, 
Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say black per black character just because that's like what I look for but just know that throughout this whole video I am talking about all people of color all races of people of color but let's talk about let's let's talk about black folks in literature why specifically so when we do have a black person in a book they're not the main character most of the time the black character is usually the sidekick the token black friend sometimes that term is even mentioned in the book let's take paper towns for instance this is a wonderful story and there is a little bit of diversity in here the diversity in this book is used for comedy for comedic relief so let's look at radar the black character in the story he's he's the sidekick I mean, he is. He's the sidekick friend. It's even written in this book when they're on their road trip. He says, Ben, you better not have bought your token black friend a racist t-shirt. And it's just like, <sighs> I just wish we could have a black character in a book without it being like, he's black. Oh my gosh, I'm, there's a black character in here. Like, no, just make him normal. Reference him. Like, you know, he has curly hair and black skin, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, like, you don't have to use the term token black friend in there. And I know it was used to be funny and everything like that. But that's my point. When black characters are in fiction, YA specifically, it's used as comedic relief. I just, I don't. And I loved this book and I love John Green. Don't get me wrong. I'm not calling John Green a racist or anything like that at all. It's just a problem that we have in society and in YA fiction specifically. I just, it just, I just, ah, uh, that. I just feel that when a black character is written into a book, it is usually for three reasons. One of three reasons. To fill space, to have some kind of comedic relief, or to invoke pity, to feel you pity that character, like there's something wrong with them, like you pity them. And I just, that's not, that's, that's not alright with me. It's not. So let's move on to the way we view the people that we read in our books. So let's look at Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series, alright? Okay, got it? Are you picturing her in your head? Are you picturing her? Let me help you out. In the book, J.K. Rowling describes her as having brown, bushy hair, having large front teeth, she's very extremely clever, and she's British. When I was reading those books as a child, I pictured a white person. I did. Even though none of those things make her white, I kind of have brown, bushy. If my hair was brown, I mean, it's kind of bushy. My teeth could be... Like, I, she doesn't have to be white, right? Like, why is it that that's how she's written about in the book, but this is how we see her. This is how media shows her. This is who they picked, which I love me some Emma Watson. I'm not, not dogging on her at all. I love her, love her. But why? I love that when a fan asked J.K. Rowling what she thought about them having cast a black actress to play Hermione in the play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. This was J.K. Rowling's response. She said, brown eyes, frizzy hair, and very clever. White skin was never specified. Rowling loves black Hermione. But that's true. White skin was never specified. So why when we're reading we automatically think, oh, this character's white. What would have happened if they would have cast a black actress? to play Hermione. What would that have done for the little boys and girls of color out there reading, seeing themselves represented in books, in movies? How awesome could that have been? Research shows that kids actually learn more and are more eager to learn when they are reflected in what they're learning. I just think that Harry Potter could have reached even more kids. Re I mean, Harry Potter reached a lot of kids. But it could have even reached more if the characters would have been more diverse. Part of the issue is the lack of diversity in YA books. But a larger part of that issue is the way that media makes us think that the right way, the best way, the ideal way is to be white. And then that gets reflected in the books. Do I think that authors are racist? No. I don't. I don't. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying, oh, 
Morgan Matson, you don't write about any black characters. You're a racist. That's not what I'm saying at all. No. No. A lot of times authors write about what they know. And most authors are white. That's just what it is. And so they write about white characters because that's what they know. <sighs> but how awesome would it be if Morgan Matson like stepped out of the box and wrote one of her summer novels about a wonderful, smart, funny black girl with big hair and just don't care. Ugh, I would eat that up. That would be so awesome. But alas, we probably won't see that anytime soon. I hope that we do though. I hope that one day I can go to the bookstore and just see titles and read the synopsis and just every book I pick out is about a different race or a different culture. So, what do you guys think? Have you noticed it? A lack of diversity in YA novels? Or novels in general? Just literature? Just fiction? Have you noticed that? Or is it just me? What are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's good? Do you think it doesn't really matter? I'd love to have a discussion in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to make a video response to this topic, please do and let me know that you did and I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm looking for open discussion. I'm not looking for fights or any sort of, I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers or anything like that. I just want honest communication about it because I think that the only way for this topic to be addressed and to be fixed, for there to be more diversity in literature, in YA fiction, is if we talk about it. We have to talk about it. We can't just, oh, this is taboo. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it. No, we need to talk about these things because these things matter. All right, guys, until next time, happy reading.